Welcome back folks, this is Shane. In today's video, I'm going to test the positive grid Spark Go for the very first time. We're going to get stuck into a jam track to begin with, and then I'll show you how that tone sounds just on its own. Now, this won't be a full deep dive review covering everything about this amplifier. I'm just keen to test it out. Now, Dr. Rick, who's on the channel a lot, he lent me this amplifier. He actually purchased it a little while back, and I've had it for three months, so apologies for not getting this back to you sooner, mate. But this video will just cover what I think of the tones and how it compares basically up against the new XBT Lite. So you're about to hear this mic'd up. Now, this can be used as an audio interface, which will vastly improve the sound quality, especially when recording to your computer. But I just wanted to showcase one of the lead tones that Dr. Rick programmed in here, and we'll get a good sense of how it sounds. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Let's take a look at this amplifier up close. Now, the first thing I noticed was just how small it is. Here's my iPhone 11, right? I don't have the latest phone or anything, but my iPhone is actually quite a lot wider than the amplifier. It should give you some perspective into just how small this is. I love the fact that we get a nice big volume control over here, and we can also use it with headphones, which is fantastic. Now, this can also double as an audio interface, but we're not gonna get into that in this video. I just wanna test some tones miking this up so you can get a good sense of how it sounds in the room while we do get our guitar input over here i would suggest using this with a wireless pack mostly because if this is on the desk like this and you move the amp it's going to fall over and you might run the possibility of it falling off a desk or whatever the case may be right so i think this would be best suited with a wireless pack but i mean look at it it's pretty cool here's the back we get this rubberized feel here as well so you could probably just lay it down like this and play if you are using it with a guitar cable. So overall, the build quality feels really good. Let's talk about how this feels to play in the context of music, which is how most people are using this. Now, while you can use this as an audio interface, which will make it sound fantastic, it also sounds really good in the room and it held up really well against my studio monitors, which I listen to the audio track back as I'm recording my part. So I always do it this way and this held up no problems at all. I probably had it close to its maximum, which kind of brings me to my point. This amplifier does suffer also from a little bit of speaker distortion, depending on the sound that you've got dialed in, but also depending on how loud it is. But if you're playing to music or you're streaming music through this, I don't think it'll be a problem. All right, let's go over to some isolated tones. <laughs> So as you can hear, on its own, it still sounds great, but you will notice some slight speaker distortion, which is evident in all of these small practice amplifiers. That means that if you turn it up too far, the speakers kind of cap out at a certain point, depending on the sound that you've got dialed in. You get different results with different amp models and speaker cabs and all that kind of stuff, and how much gain you're applying. But I can hear the speaker just breaking up a little bit here. <laughs> It's very subtle on some notes and then it's more evident on others. It's just one of those things. Let's go over to bridge. Yeah, I can definitely hear it more on these notes. But I mean, the tone's all there and if you're playing to some backing tracks or you know, you're streaming music through it, it definitely won't be an issue. All right, this is a first impressions video, so I'm gonna give you my first impressions of the Positive Grid Spark. So first up, I like the compact form factor. This will appeal to people who really wanna keep the size and weight down to the nth degree. This is probably the smallest practiced amp like this I've ever seen without being a headphone amplifier. Uh, you can plug headphones into it, but just a dedicated headphone amp. It's actually really impressive that it's got a built-in battery, which is why it's about the same weight as the new XBT Lite, so that's really cool. I like the overall look of this as well. The rubber back is kind of cool. You could lay it on the ground and play. I just really feel like this is best suited to someone with a wireless pack, and if you're thinking about buying a wireless pack and you saw me using this X5 one, give this one a miss. It's not very good. I'll leave a recommendation down below. But yeah, the reason I say that is if you've got a cable plugged into this and you're standing up and playing, 
you'll no doubt pull it off the desk, which is why you might want to actually lay this down on the desk as opposed to have it standing upright. So wireless packs would be definitely the best way to go with this. Visually, I really like it. I love the fact that it feels like it's weatherproof as well. It's got that sort of rubberized feel. It might not be. It might just be the aesthetic they went for with this, but it has kind of like a Bluetooth speaker feel to it in a good way. So yeah, it looks like a great little amplifier, and we'll come back and visit this in a little bit more detail with the app and all that kind of stuff, so stay tuned for that. But I really wanted to get a first impressions video out of this because... I know I've, I've had this for three months. Sorry, Rick. I'll uh, post this back as soon as I've done my next video. There it is. That's the Positive Grid Spark Go. Let us know your thoughts. If you want to check this out, I'll link it down below. Thanks for watching. See ya.